Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company, the auto shop of the future. What we have here is a Tesla Model S, a 2014 from San Francisco. They went to the service center, they found a battery problem, main battery problem, which is about a $20,000, $22,000 replacement. It came here, we began to open it up to see what's wrong inside this battery pack, and here's what we're finding. We usually have um, a camera that we can uh, probe kind of like endoscopic surgery where we can go inside and see what's going on before we disassemble the whole battery pack and that was the first thing that we did with this penthouse here or with this battery pack. What we then found is there was some condensation and moisture inside the pack. So on top of the pack we also found evidence of rodents and uh, you can tell this is probably a squirrel that was using the top of this battery as a nest to collect nuts and food. There was also a fair amount of water on top of this battery. And the next thing we did was we disassembled the penthouse lid here. What we found underneath was, again, moisture. You can see some of the condensation inside the penthouse lid. And on top of this insulator, you can see there's some more condensation or evidence of condensation. There we go. Which then led us to the actual battery module here and you can see there's water and condensation beating up on top of this including a 400 volt fuse which was submerged in water inside its container. What's going to happen next with this battery pack is we're going to have to take the top lid off like we did with this battery pack here and find the extent of the water ingress or the water damage in this pack hoping that it will just be a couple three modules or boards rather than an entire breached battery tub full of water. Let's take a look at where this water would have come from. There is an air conditioning condensate tube and our belief is that the condensate tube was dumping water directly on top of the battery pack. The battery pack does have a seal that runs around the perimeter of the pack and you can see it here. There's a rubber gasket essentially that runs all the way around. However, those get compromised. And as you can see in this case, once we remove the fire blanket, there is a substantial amount of water that has collected on top of this lid. And we're finding water inside the pack as well as on top of the pack. Again, you might ask, how does water get inside the pack since you have a caulk line that runs all the way around the perimeter? More than likely, if you look at these screws that are badly corroded, the washers have been compromised, it looks like that's where the water got inside the tub or inside the battery pack. So what we have here is the top module out of that 2014 Model S and you can see the amount of condensation inside this battery module. And with the water getting inside the module, you can see some of the effects of the uh, corrosion that occurred from the water that has been collecting inside the battery pack. Although we get a fair share of flood damage cars or total cars, we need to point out that this particular Tesla Model S was a passenger car in private ownership. It was never totaled, it was never compromised, and it is the original owners that eventually ended up with a battery pack that was compromised and then sent to us for repair. I hope you enjoyed our brief discussion of flood damaged Teslas. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for joining us.